When choosing a place to dig a snow pit to assess stability, there's just a few things to consider when picking your location. And a couple of those are, you want to be down off the ridge a little bit. What happens is when you dig a snow pit too close to the ridge, sometimes you get a lot of wind drifted snow and that'll affect your results. So you want to be down off the ridge a little ways. Another thing to consider are the trees. You don't want to be too close to the trees. So you want kind of a nice opening. What can happen is the snow piles up in the trees and you get these clumps. And when the wind blows, it knocks the clumps out of the tree and they land in the snow. And that could also skew the results that you see in your snow pit. And then lastly, with respect to the trees, you also just want to make sure that you don't have trees right in front of you. You want to make sure that your snow pit has a nice clear view of the sky. So we're down from the ridge, we're away from the trees and a little clearing. And then lastly, it's really important to choose a, a low angle slope. So right here, it's a 25 degree slope. We can pretty safely come onto this slope and not worry about avalanches. There's one more really important thing to consider when digging a snow pit, aside from where you are with respect to the ridge and the trees and things like that. And that is, if you want to play on a slope like this, if you want to ski or ride on a steep slope, you want to dig your snow pit on a similar slope that has the same aspect and elevation. And in this case, this is, a, this is the side of that slope and it's, it's connected to this steeper one. So this is a really good pit location. But if you didn't have this option, you could go to another slope, just as long as it has the same aspect and elevation, and that way it's a good representative snowpack. It should be pretty similar to what you'll find out there.